there is another virus that is concerning public health experts. It is monkeypox, was not historically found in the United States. CDC has reported more than 2,500 cases in the past two months. Former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb criticized the federal response earlier this week. You said his comments were, quote, uh, misinformed and off base. To outside experts and some administration officials I've spoken with, it does look like the CDC is repeating some of the same mistakes from earlier in the COVID pandemic. Can you say categorically that the CDC has a better handle on this virus than it did on COVID in the earlier days of that pandemic? Let me say a few things about um, those comments and, and your question. First, um, we're in a very different situation with monkeypox. It's a very different disease, a very different virus than SARS-CoV-2. Um, with monkeypox, we are standing on the shoulders of decades of research that has happened here at the CDC. We had a test for it that was already approved, and we launched that test. We were able to do immediately 6,000 tests throughout the country per week, scaled that up to 10,000 tests per country in the country per week. And now we're up to about 70,000 tests that we're able to do in the country per week. And just to give you a sense of where we are, we get right now about 3,000 samples a week to test. So one of the things that we've really had to do, in addition to our ability to scale up, is to do some teaching around the country to tell patients how monkeypox will present so that they can go present for care, and to teach providers and clinicians what to look for and how to do the test for monkeypox. But I do want to articulate that we have never seen the demand for testing um, that has over um, taken over our, our possibility to, of testing, our supply of testing. In fact, we have more and more testing that we should be doing, and we are doing a lot of clinical outreach in order to do so. But there's one key important similarity with um, COVID and with monkeypox, and that is CDC's inability to see the data in real time. And I think that this is really important. Um, I have been struck as we at CDC are now conquering another public health challenge challenge, monkeypox, as to how little authority we at CDC have to receive the data. So I can tell you that while we um, have been working with our ASPR colleagues to get vaccine out to jurisdictions, we at CDC currently have no data on who's been vaccinated. So when people are asking, has this distribution allocation administration, where has it gone to people and how will that vaccine be working? We at CDC have no authority to receive those data and we haven't received any of it. Data like our case data, case data are coming in, as you noted, about 2,500 cases around the country. We have about 50% um, rate on our uh, data on race and ethnicity of those cases, about 80% rate in our data on um, age of those cases. So we very much want to get as much information as informed decisions out to the American public as possible. And yet again, like we were for COVID, we are again really challenged by the fact that we at the agency have no authority to receive those data. We're working on that right now.